Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Sandeep Bajoria. He's CEO at Sunwin Group. Mr. Bajoria, I thank you for joining us. I want to first of all talk about the record edible oil imports that India has done in the month of July and then August as well. How is September looking to you right now? Manisha, yes, we have imported a huge amount of oil. We are flooded with wedge oil right now in India. Tanks and all ports in India are full. There is no space to unload the oil right now. People are struggling to get the tank space. Uh, it's been really crazy kind of import. 1.85 million tons which came in the month of uh, July. 1.85 came into August. And uh, September also looking like something around 1.7, 1.75 million tons. So with these kind of imports, I think uh, nearly approximately if you see 5 million tons of oil coming in three months is uh, unheard of. Uh, and uh, so prices of wedge oil, as you know, are at the lowest bottom. And uh, consumer is having a great party right now. And uh, industry is suffering because of the over imports, because of the lower duty. And uh, there is no respite. The demand has been pretty good. The consumption this year has increased uh, uh, by at least 8 to 10% than the previous year because of the lower prices. And uh, that has been a very nice uh, happening. And uh, I believe the per capita consumption is now be, be reaching about 17, 17.5 kgs. And India will be tot importing totally about 16.6 million tons of wedge oil this oil year, which is from uh, 1st November 22 to 31st October 23. And uh, so this will be higher by like 14.2 was imported in the previous year. So we'll be importing additional uh, 2.4 million tons. And the consumption this year also is going to exceed uh, 25 million tons. So that's been a good sign for a long run in the industry. And imports will reduce in the month of October. October, I think imports will come down to about uh, uh, 1.25 million and November also will come down to about 1.15 million and then only the equilibrium in the overall stocks will become right mm. now we are very stock heavy and then mm. uh, somewhere in the second of October or November beginning we will be having uh, some comfort on the imported oil front uh, I also want to talk to you about the prices. I mean, as we keep mentioning that we've seen prices come off sharply from those uh, all-time highs that we saw in the previous year as well. From these uh, current situation, with the kind of imports that we already have seen, with the new crop that would start coming into the markets, how much more decline in prices can you expect? Manisha, prices have already declined significantly. And I think uh, further decline is hardly 3 to 4% can happen. Uh, okay. maximum 5%, but I don't mm -hmm. think so. Internationally, also, prices will decline any more from these levels because they are also at very low level. Like, like today, crude palm oil is uh, quoting around eight forty eight forty five dollars CNF India. The sun, soybean oil is quoting around nine eighty dollars CNF India and sulfur oil is quoting about eight eighty dollars CNF India. So, mm -hmm. if you compare these prices to the previous year prices, uh, like previous year, the the palm oil was $1,500, $1,600, so I mean, oil was $1,700, sulfur oil was $1,700. So we are nearly half of the earlier year prices. So Clearly. Yeah. We are touching uh, also, yeah. cost of production levels at many places. All right. I also want to understand, you know, I, I remember this from previous conversation that you said India from a uh, processor, crusher, manufacturer could just about become a packing industry with the kind of imports that we've seen into the country. While it's great news for consumers, especially ahead of the festivals, but for the industry, what has these big imports really meant? Yeah, for industry, it has been a problematic thing because too much of oil coming in the country depresses the prices more than they are required and uh, you incur heavy storage costs, heavy interest costs. And uh, so, and secondly, another point for the industry was uh, because uh, on one hand, uh, the government is putting MSPs for rep seed and swear seed and uh, government doesn't want uh, farmers to get a lesser price than MSP. That we also agree. On the other mm. hand, uh, import duty is kept so low that uh, the parity between raw material and finished product is not uh, working out well. And hence, the industry, refining and crushing industry, both are under stress in the last 12 months. And last and most important product is the finished product import like palmoline oil, which is a finished product is uh, being sold by Indonesia, Malaysia, $10 cheaper to the CPO price in India. 
like mm. 10 20 dollars so that is also another concern that refining industry from there you will earn the positive margins so i believe government has to immediately if government wants to keep a low duty keeping in mind the inflation keeping in mind the relief to consumer and elections we don't mind but at least government should ensure that survival mm. of farmers and industry is also taken care of along with the interest of consumer and for that government needs to increase the duty difference between crude and uh, refined only the crude palm oil today is a uh, duty of 5.5 and odin is at 13.25 okay. so i believe government needs to increase the olin duty from 13.25 at least by 5% mm. so that uh, this gap is uh, well be very well maintained and indian refining industry runs positively uh, and runs at full capacity not the industry in the origins like malaysia and indonesia so oh, the yes. governments are favoring the, their industry very much Absolutely that Mr Bajoria as always thank you so much for joining us and sharing all those numbers and details with us so clearly 17 and a half kg is per capita consumption of edible oil in India and we are looking at almost 25 million tons of that happen in this year the prices clearly have come down and could see some more pressure down there but with that that's all the time that we have on the show stay tuned after the break business lunch will take all the action forward